The effect of plasmid copy number. One of the factor that can influence the expression of cloned gene uh, is the availability of ribosomes in the cytoplasm. But this is not the problem because uh, ribosomes they are abundant uh, in the cytoplasm and they may up maybe up to 15,000 ribosomes per cell and they may represent up to quarter the dry mass of the cell. Uh, so another factor then that may be important is the availability of the uh, messenger RNA transcripts. Uh, because the number of ribosomes uh, as compared to a particular messenger RNA transcript, it is comparatively high. So, the availability of such messenger RNA transcripts, they can also uh, determine the level of expression of the cloned gene. And the level of transcripts, uh, we can control further uh, by increasing the dosage of the gene. Uh, that is, we can increase the copies of the gene uh, within the cell so that we can get high level of messenger RNA. And uh, in turn, it can be determined by cloning the target gene into plasmid that is having high copy number. That is, more copies of plasmids uh, per cell. And in previous uh, discussion or lectures, now we have the idea that uh, uh, there are different plasmids that can be used and have high copy number. And one of the example is artificially constructed uh, PBR322 plasmid. Uh, PBR322 plasmid ko uh, construct kiya gaya hai ya dusre alfaz mein hum ye keh sakte hain ke ye derivative hai ek aur plasmid ka jisko hum कोल E1 कहते हैं और उम्मीद है कि आपको ये सारे प्लाज्मिड्स के नाम जो हैं ये हमारे जो प्रीवियस डिस्कशन है जो लेक्चर्स हैं उनमें से ये आपको याद होंगे तो ये जो कोल E1 प्लाज्मिड है इट इज आल्सो एन एग्जांपल ऑफ हाई कॉपी नंबर प्लाज्मिड्स एंड दिस हाई कॉपी नंबर ऑफ प्लाज्मिड इट इज इन टर्म्स is determined by the region of replication of the plasmid. Ori region, it is the region where, from where the DNA replication within the plasmid it started during the time of its duplication. So, the region of replication, it can, it can control the copy number of the plasmid. It will determine that particular plasmid, it will be low copy number or high copy number. And here to uh, negative uh, regulators, they can determine the copy number. And these two uh, negatively regulated components uh, are, uh, one of them it is uh, RNA molecule, which is uh, synthesized by region of replication. And it is having the size of uh, around 108 base pairs. And it is called as the RNA1. So it is one of the a negatively regulated component. Another component, it is a repressor protein, which is called as the ROP, or ROP protein. So these two negative uh, regulator components, they can determine the copy number of the plasmid by controlling the interaction of an other RNA uh, with the origin of replication. And this uh, example of another RNA, it is RNA2. This RNA2, it is also synthesized by a region of the DNA within the origin of replications. Or in other words, we can say that the same region that synthesized RNA1, it is also synthesized RNA2. RNA2, it is having uh, the size of around uh, 5 155 base pairs and it is complementary to the RNA1 because they are synthesized from the same uh, DNA segment of the origin of replication. So they are complementary uh, with each other but the strand for this synthesis it is different. So by interacting uh, with RNA2, RNA1 it can control the copy number of the plasmids. Now, how it can control the copy number? 
For example, RNA2 if it is available and RNA1 if it is absent. So in the absence of RNA1, uh, it can uh, act as a primer with the origin of replication uh, and it can start the duplication of the uh, uh, plasmid. But on the other hand, if RNA1 is available, which is complementary, and uh, so that the conformation of uh, uh, RNA2, it is now changed. And it is no longer uh, able to act as a primer with the origin of replication. So, this plasmid ki synthesis nahi hogi. Or, this is the repressor protein, which is called ROP protein. So, this is RNA1, which is inhibitory action. So, this is the activate karti hai. So, this is the RNA1 or ROP protein, hai, after interacting with RNA2. Two uh, molecule, it can control the copy number of the plasmids. If we have some plasmids that are deficient, are uh, uh, mutant for RNA1, like in case of PAT153 plasmid, or even other uh, plasmids that are mutant for ROP regulatory or repressor protein. Even then, the copy number of the plasmid, it can be increased. So, by using the bacterial strain or the host strains that are deficient for RNA1 or uh, regulatory protein like ROP uh, protein, the copy number of the plasmid, it can be increased. But with this, we have to keep this in the that copy number of the part cell, the uh, host genetics, hai, Wo bhi control karti hai. Now, uh, different scientists, they have managed the copy number of the plasmids. Like, by, they have used two regions of replication that are working at different temperatures. For example, uh, one of the plasmids, uh, they have a region of replication that is uh, uh, activated at 30 degrees Celsius and after interacting with the partition region, they can maintain the copy number uh, at low level. When growing at low temperature, that is around 30 degrees Celsius. On the other hand, the other region of replication, uh, it is activated at 36 degrees Celsius. Uh, so that uh, the region of replication, now it is activated and it is having high copy number. So by managing the temperature, by using Two region of replication, some workers have managed the copy number of the plasmids. Uh, under some circumstances, if mutations are there that can select the low copy number plasmids, then the high copy number plasmid they may be uh, phase, uh, phase out. And this problem can be tackled by uh, subjecting the cells to antibiotics. On the other hand, if mutations are in such a way that low copy number plasmid, they are present uh, one copy or two copy as compared to uh, high copy number plasmids. Like in case of PBR322, if uh, low copy mutations are one in 50 plasmids, then it, it is not going to influence because high copy number plasmid will maintain in the cell because of uh, high rate of cell division.